god, he is licking his balls. This is, this is like the story of my life, isn't it? I just wanted to check in and say hello. Um, it's been it's been some time since I really shared uh, what it is that I do with this state. Um, if you'd if you'd call be so kind as to call me that. Um, my days tend to be um, waking up pretty early, getting out for a dog walk, um, wearing lots of stuff that can get dirty and can be pulled on really quick. Um, basically my day is spent doing a lot of dog stuff um, and I have to like kind of be um, in a more versatile place for it, uh, like easy maintenance hair today. Um, today I just dried it with, um, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Here's Apollo, he's growing quite a little bit. I tend to shower in the evenings and have a really good exfoliation or a long bath and just relax. And then in the mornings, um, I love this Herbal Essence uh, Naked um, Dry Shampoo because there's no nasties or parabens or anything horrible. It's just pretty much, pretty much tapioca starch that's flavoured with um, a few essential oils so um, yeah it's just putting less crap into the atmosphere and like less nasties stop it I find it works really well in the mornings to just I find it works really well in the mornings just to add a little bit of volume, add some cleanliness, um, and just smell good. So in the mornings when I'm super busy, um, I will do my best to apply some um, eye elixir. This is Elemental Herbology, who are a brand who I completely believe in. Um, I've used them for yonks, and um, yeah, again, it's just a load of essential oils to just brighten the eyes and um, <laughs> disguise any nights of minimal sleep induced by this little Vizsla. So um, before applying the eye elixir, um, I still adore this toner, um, it's a Phyto. Um, I've, I've used this brand for, again, a few years. It's just essential, whoa, what are you doing? It's just essential oil, um, essential plant extracts, um, pretty much like hardcore juice, um, but it's, it's great, it just adds um, I find it really heals the skin um, and just gives it a really nice smooth complexion. I've been doing a lot of outdoor stuff recently and it kind of walking all day, sweating, being in the sun, it really doesn't sound cool. Well. Being in the sun, um, sweating, being exposed to kind of uh, harsh winds and rain, it, it really does wear your skin out and, and I find this restorative toner does help substantially. In terms of my body, I love this Coraz, is that how you say it? Coraz uh, body milk. Um, it's really moisturising, um, but this body milk is really nourishing. It's again got loads of um, uh, like nut and flower extracts, so again it's just, it's just so moisturising um, and it's just great to get home from kind of hiking in the mountains or something and uh, have a good exfoliation relax for a few moments and then just lather on a load of body milk. It's delicious. Uh, again, two or three times a week, um, I use this deep clay mask from Amy. I've spoken about it before. This must be the most boring kind of uh, skin routine video uh, because I do tend to use the same products quite a lot, but um, Spring Clean Mud Mask, it's fantastic and it just draws out all like nasties from your skin. Um, with my hair, I'm, I'm kind of deliberating what to do next um, with it because it's got quite long and I kind of feel like I should do something a bit extreme but, and always a but, um, I, so I've got my, so I work for myself now and I find um, I work with a lot of very corporate people and I kind of think rocking up to work or rocking up to a new client with white hair and kind of, I don't know, maybe some chalk colour in or, or even just shaving it. I keep on walking past a barber shop um, on the corner thinking, should I just go in and get it shaved? Like, should I just go, like, should I just shave it? Um, 
So as you know, if you've been reading the blog for a while, you'll know that I put my hair through a lot and I do a lot of really random stuff to it, but at the moment it's very long. It's, um, it's just off my shoulders now, it's grown quite, <laughs> quite a lot, um, and I'm kind of thinking what to do with it next. But at the same time, I'm still just lathering in moisture where possible and trying to avoid overwashing it. So this um, Matrix, what is it, Bio Lace, um, I found them in one of my hairdressers and um, I just love these sachets because I just lather my hair in moisture and leave it on for kind of an episode of something. Um, I'm really into Pretty Little Liars at the moment. Um, and what else? Oh, Humans. Humans on Channel 4 is excellent. And ooh, that's, there's one on BBC at the moment. Um, that's really good as well. It's about a guy who like, I don't know, it's like a secret spy. Yeah, um, I'll, use, I'll use products to remedy the symptoms, but at the same time, I'm a huge believer in understanding what is going on um, with your skin and understanding how to get to the root cause of it. Root cause analysis. So, um, we've all seen this book, Eat Pretty, it's fantastic, it's just, it's just an absolute um, reiteration of how what goes in affects what's on the outside so um, I've been juicing as much as possible I've been eating loads of fresh fruits and vegetables and just trying to minimalize minimalize minimize uh, all the nasties that I throw um, at myself so that's that um, while also doing that um, I'm trying to find a really good mascara and I've used green people a lot in the past and um, I've really liked it but I don't, I still find it difficult to find something that equals or is better than a lot of more kind of department store brands. So um, on mornings before taking the dog out for a walk I'll just run, like <laughs> I order loads of these brushes, um, I'll just run a kind of dry brush um, through my eyelashes and just over my eyebrows. Whilst having a quick, whilst out doing my little chores um, in Birmingham, I uh, I was popping through one of the arcades, Great Western, no, not Great Western, one of the other ones. What are you doing? What? <laughs> whilst having a quick walk through one of the arcades in Birmingham, I um, can't remember what it's called. Paradise, Paradise Arcade. It's just the one opposite the Great Western Arcade, the cement one. Um, I uh, popped past a, a new little shop called Organic. 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 Bonjour. Je m'appelle. Bonjour. Uh, uh, je suis un poisson. Uh, fantastic shop. Um, it's uh, it's a Polish. Um, it's a Polish shop, loads of shops around Poland, a few around um, other parts of Europe, but um, first in the UK and um, I just got insatiably chatting to uh, one of the staff members who is so knowledgeable and so um, passionate about natural alternatives, remedies and again healing from the inside out but then using their products to remedy any symptoms and just make yourself feel awesome. Um, so I bought a few things but then I got loads of cool little freebies including this pineapple ritual face mask. Um, also at the same time with things being a little bit busier at home in terms of um, having to schedule my days around this guy, I tend to, um, I'm not doing that much with my eyebrows, I'm not filling them in or anything but instead I'm just making sure that every like, hair is where it should be and just structuring them appropriately. I think with this whole um, realisation of self-reliance, I am so much more accountable for what I do, the time I input into things, but also at the same time I'm so much more accountable for my health. And it feels terrifying to not have that kind of safety net of, I'm sick, <laughs> can somebody help? Um, I'm sick, I need a few days, and I've really struggled with hay fever this summer, like I'm completely bunged deaf a lot, and um, I guess what I know I now need to do is be completely strong from the inside out, remedy myself, 
um, try to not put on any nasties and put in as much great stuff as possible. <laughs> What a, what a fucking exciting story I popped out to buy toilet paper. Toilet paper. <laughs> While out and about in Birmingham. <laughs> toilet paper. Um, leaf, drop. Drop. Go get Larry. Go get Larry. Oh my god, he is licking his balls. This is, this is like the story of my life, isn't it?